I'm here to let the chairman of INEC and Nigerians to know that the NIM is a compromised and inappropriate database for the conduct of elections in Nigeria. Why, why I'm saying this is the fact that the chairman of INEC was at the National House of Assembly the other day, very recently, and informed Nigerians that we are few, we are less than a thousand days, about 800 or something days to the next election. And in fact, that the election has been fixed, the presidential election has been fixed for the 8th of February. Now, having said that, the chairman also said that they have um, done some kind of innovations in terms of the use of technology. And it struck my mind that definitely INEC could be using the NIM for elections because the act that creates that, uh, the law that creates, uh, the law that creates uh, the, this whole thing uh, makes it very clear that without NIM, you cannot be a Nigerian citizen. Without NIM, you cannot vote. Without NIM, you cannot open a bank account. You cannot have, do everything that a citizen is supposed to do. So now, my take, why I am saying on behalf of Nigerians that the NIM cannot be an acceptable database for the election is because the process by which the NIM is being obtained is a violation of sections 25, 26, and 27 of the Nigerian constitution. What do I mean by that? Those sections gives, made it very clear on how you can become a Nigerian citizenship. But with an NIM number, you can become a Nigerian citizen in, without these provisions. That is to say, with the NIM, an alien can become a Nigerian citizen through the back door. The NIM procedure is such that when you get there, what, what you need to do is just fill a form. This form is not being verified by anybody. They don't know where you live. They don't, there's, no, there's no link between the officers there who are untrained and there's no link between the officers there who are untrained and also the, the local governments. Anything you feel there goes. So we know that recently the government has, uh, through the policy of visa on arrival, encouraged a lot of um, economic refugees from outside, Af from outside Nigeria, within Africa, especially from the Sahel, to come to Nigeria to settle. We also know that our borders are porous. What I'm saying in essence is that we have a lot of illegal aliens among us who have this NIM from Niger, from Mali, from Chad, and so on and so forth. They have this, and by so doing, they are automatically Nigerian citizens. And if we allow this, that is to say, we are going to change automatically the demography of Nigeria, and that is the beginning. Nigeria will become a Turkey. So there's, there's, no, there's no need to say the, the basis of the NIM is to, to help check criminals, except you want to use it against people who are on legitimately agitating for self-determination, which is their right. Although I believe in one Nigeria, but people have a right to agitate for whatever they want. So the NIM does not serve any purpose because we are already down. We need no fear, no fall. The terrorists are amongst us, but we will not allow anybody to use the NIM to change the demography of Nigeria. We already know who we are. Everybody will stay where they are. We know who is who in Nigeria, and that must remain.